Hi guys, it's Dawn from Let's Make a Mess today. How are you doing today? Hey, listen, I just wanted to um, share, oops, this upside down, this video with you. Um, what's going on is Rosemary Morris reached out to me when she saw one of my um, Dollar Tree hauls, and I had bought it, a book at Dollar Tree Hall, and she says, I have that book, I love that book. She goes, I'd love to do a collab. She says, with anybody, so the challenge is, um, as I understand it, is if anybody has the book, she's going to do like a monthly challenge. And so I think we're kicking off, she's kicked off her her altered page, and uh, I did my altered page. And this is the page that she chose for us to alter out of the book. So first off, let me show you the book before I show you my page. Now this is just a copy of it because I've already altered it. But this is the book. So if you see this book and if you're interested in this monthly challenge that Rosemary's doing, um, please go buy it. It's called Three Line Novels, and I have to be careful here because I don't want to. I don't want to show you my book, my my page yet. You know, I have to make a big to do. But anyway, so it's just a really cool book with really cool images, and um, like this is one of my favorite images because it reminds me of my grandmother. My mother, my grandmother was a hoot. And now it reminds me of this other lady. But anyway, um, so the images in this book are really, really cool. So she's going to pick a page a month and have everybody do a um, altar. So aren't these just great? It's just a really cool book. So anyway, with that being said, I did do a video and then I decided, ugh, I didn't want to. I, I just was really, you know me, I'm really um, chatty. So it wasn't quite the video that I wanted. And then she said, well, we can, she did like a before and after. So I'm going to go ahead and do a, a, a before and after as well. So this is the page that she chose. And so this is the before. And it's like just a really cool collaged fish. And when I looked at this, I thought, hmm, okay. We have this big fish here with a crown. And then it says, it has been offered to the Paris Zoo, which has not responded. And I thought, hmm, I don't, I didn't want to play up the Paris thing. But I did want to play up the uh, which has not responded thing. And so I, when somebody doesn't respond and it, you know, it's the awkward, quiet moment, it's like crickets, right? And so what I did was I found some crickets and I cut out some crickets and I put them on the page. And then I really played up the fact that he's a royal fish with the crown and everything. And let me show you. This is the before. And <laughs> I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Let's let you know. I'm crazy. This is the after. <laughs> so, so I made. I went ahead, and what I did was I went ahead and just painted around the fish with blue acrylic paint, and then I made some. Gracie wants to see. Hold on. Let me put my coffee over here, and let me just set her down a little bit. Come on, sit down, honey. You can't. There you go. Stay right there. So, um. Uh, I put some little uh, bubbles in the water. I don't know if you can see them. I don't know how well they're they're showing up, but hopefully they are. Maybe you can see the bubbles. So yeah. So after that, I like I said, I just went ahead and found a couple of crickets and I put them on here. No, okay, you can go through. And um, and then of course he's a he's a, a okay. No, sorry, you guys. she's having oh, this morning. There we go. So she, so he's a, you know, a kingfish. You know, he's very royal. So I went ahead and jewel, bejeweled him, and I put some gold metallic paint. And then I made him a cape. You guys see the cape? I sewed the cape with all this with li this little um, really cool um, I don't know what's that called Th pattern. It's not a zigzag, but it's like a zigzag. So I and I put this paper on here and so he has a cape so he is a royal fish with a cape and then I went ahead and I left the cape you see the sewing pattern back here pretty good then what I did was I actually painted the fish as well and then I went around him with Posca pen but I painted the fish in a nice silver kind of it's there we go and because fish are shiny and scaly right and then I put a little bit of glitter paint in it so there you have it. That's my uh, altered page. <laughs> it folds up. I haven't wanted to fold it too much yet because, you know, it'll get bent there. But, you know, what? whatever. It's okay. I love how it feels. You know, it feels kind of funny. So anyway, so there it is. There's my altered page for Rosemary's um, monthly um, 
challenge, and I hope you guys, if you have this book, join it. Uh, Rosemary Morris is on Facebook, and she's also she also has a YouTube channel. I think it's just called Rosemary Morris Junk Journals. I know she has the junk and flow journals, but she also has her, another one. And she's been doing these beautiful plaster junk journals. Oh my gosh, you guys. Go check out her page. Look for look for her plaster junk journals. She takes everything to another level, you guys. And when she reached out and said, oh, you want to do this challenge? I'm like, um, no. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Of course, when Rosemary Morris reaches out, I reach back because I love her. And um, she was one of my first uh, people online when I was watching the Flow Journals. And I fell in love with her. So anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is the before. Here's the before. And there's the after with his beautiful crown and his beautiful cape and the crickets and um so there you have it that was my answer to to the challenge so i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will talk to you guys real soon take care guys bye